My name is Rich Harrington, and I'm a trainer for Future Media Concepts. Today, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of white balancing inside of Final Cut Pro. Now, the white balance is how your camera knows what's a reference point for really calibrating all the other colors in your scene. And if you don't set it right when shooting, or even after the fact, maybe you make a subjective change, you can not really get the colors exactly right. So, if we take advantage of this in Final Cut Pro, we can quickly fix things in our image. Here's how it works. I've got my shot here, and let's just select the clip and choose Effects, Video Filters, Color Correction, and I'll use the Color Corrector 3-Way. Now, in order to see that effect, you need to double click on the clip itself. A quick click will load that, and you see the Color Corrector 3-Way tab. Now, you've got the sampler points here for the black, the midtones, and the whites. Take the white sampler and click on something that should be white. However, in this image, that gets a little tricky. We have a white computer. We have a white windowsill. We have an off-white wall, a tan light, and a soft white shirt. So depending upon which white you click, you're going to get very different results. So if I mistakenly thought that that wall was white and I click, notice how it removes a lot of the color cast, and now it's a very blue image because it's moved away from the yellow in the wall and tried to compensate. Let's click the reset button there for a moment and take the eyedropper and go off of the computer. Now, I can go off of this corner that's getting hit by sunlight or this side that's in the shade. Let's pick that edge. And notice that that did the same thing. It put a little more blue into the scene to compensate for the yellowish spill coming from that lamp. So the white surfaces in the original shot were getting a little bit tinted by the yellowish glow from the lamp and of course affected by the sunlight coming in the window. So you sort of have to decide what is white or reference in the scene. I'll also take the black eyedropper and go on something that should be black, like this cable here. And that put a little bit more blue in the scene. It's looking pretty good. Pull my whites down just a tad, a little more saturation. That looks pretty good. If you want to see a before and after, you can do it two ways. You could just click on the eyeball to toggle it on and off. That's a useful way to see the effect. Or you can go ahead and choose Tools, Frame Viewer, and this allows you to see the current frame as well as the current frame without filters and you can get a nice sort of split so you can see it. You can do that with a vertical split or a horizontal split so you can really analyze what you're doing to the image. So this works great, very easy to use and of course like any effect in Final Cut you can reuse it. So our very next shot is really similar. Same office, similar lighting conditions. What I can do is just take that effect and drag it onto this next clip and you see that the same white balance has been applied. So that way I can get a nice consistent look. Now, I hope you found this tip useful. My name is Rich Harrington. You'll find me teaching at the Future Media Concepts conferences and we cover lots of things like Final Cut Pro there. So I hope you can join us.